Today we're talking about paint, but we're gonna raise the bar from a standard base clear paint job, and we're gonna show you how to paint a tri-coat and how to lay stripes on your next project. For this project, we're starting off with this Factory 5 kit car, already body worked and super straight. We kick the day off by loading the car, doors, deck lid, and hood into our booth, and wiping down the car with pre-painting prep and attack rag. Next, we have to spray one coat of sealer over everything. This gives us a nice uniform surface to begin adding color over. While the sealer sets up, over the next half hour, we can mix our first coat of paint. Now you have two options here. You can either lay down the body color, in our case blue, and then top with the stripe, or you can lay down the stripe first and then add your body color. Our painter's preference on this job was to lay the stripe first, so we take our metallic black and spray generously across the top of the panels. This is a standard base coat, so three coats of black with about 15 minutes in between. Once that's finished, we let the black completely dry so we can start masking off our stripe. For us, we give this about an hour before we mess with it any further. For the stripe, the sky is the limit. One center one with two tracers such as we did, two fat stripes, two down the side, whatever you want. The key part is to have a plan before the car ever gets into the booth and have a way to quickly find center or a point of reference and start masking. To make sure the stripe's straight from panel to panel, we pop the deck lid and hood onto the body. Next, we find our center, mark out the main center stripe, then use quarter inch fine line to set our tracer stripes. It's easy to get confused, so keep in mind your stripe will end up being everywhere your tape is. Then remove all the excess tape, pop those panels back off, and now we can move on to our main color. So now our car is mostly sealer with the black stripe masked off. For our color, we're paying homage to the original Shelby Cobra Blue, but we're taking it up a notch by using a tri-coat or a pearlescent coat. The key thing here is that we start spraying base coat just like normal, generally three coats. Then, instead of going directly to clear, we apply several layers of our mid coat, which is a semi-transparent color coat. This adds a layer of depth and makes the final results really pop. Before we got into the booth, we did what was known as letdown panels, where we apply our standard three coats of blue base over a card and then test how many layers of mid coat we want to apply. If you're matching a factory color, this step is key. For us, it's just a matter of preference. Our painter Brent opts for two coats. Knowing all of this info from our test earlier, we apply two layers of the mid coat with 15 minute flash times in between. You can already see how it changes the look of the blue, giving it sort of a purple look depending on the light. Once that's completely flashed off, we can carefully unmask our stripe and move on to clear. Brent lays down three wet on wet coats, about five to 10 minutes in between. This is the same as any base clear paint job. We then let this sit for three hours before pulling it from our booth. If you have a bake cycle available, you can use that and speed this up and then pull the car out. And now we get to see how that work pays off. As you can see, this color is really next level. Instead of it just being a typical metallic blue paint job, it kind of dances in the light. The tri-coat combined with the stripe just gives anyone checking out the car so much to stare at. And it turned out awesome. Now we have a full line of OEM colors, including everything you've seen here. To find out more about this or any of our other paint products, head over to eastwood.com.